Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on quadratic equations. In this video, we'll be looking at determining the nature of roots of quadratic equations. Given the general form of quadratic equation, y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, is called the discriminant. It is used to determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. In this process, we have three cases. So we have a case one, case two, and case three. For case one, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, the roots are real and equal. So that the graph looks like this. So this graph is for a is greater than zero. So from the graph, the real and equal roots is found at this point on the x-axis. Now case two. For case two, if p squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, the roots are real and distinct. It means we have two different real values. So that the graph looks like this. Um, here is going to be the first root. And this is the second real root that are of different values. Then the third case, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, if it is negative, the roots are complex. So we now have the graph. It is not touching the x-axis. So that means the roots are complex roots. So this is how we know the nature of the roots. We then take problems. We have problem here, A, B, and C. Find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic functions. So we are going to start from A. So for A, we identify A, B, and C. So here the coefficient of x squared is A, which is 1. So A is equal to 1. The coefficient of x is b, and this is negative 6, so b is negative 6, and the constant term is always the c, so we have c to be 11. We still remember that the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. We substitute in the values of a, b, and c in this formula, so we have negative 6 squared, then minus 4 times 1 then times 11. Negative 6 squared is 36, and uh, 4 times 1 times 11 gives 44. So we have 36 minus 44, and that gives negative 8. And the uh, negative 8 is less than 0 since it is negative. Therefore, the roots are complex. So the quadratic equation y equal to x squared minus 6x plus 11 has complex roots. Then we go for b. For b, we have a, our a to be 2, our b to be 8, and the c is equal to 1. So substituting into the formula for the discriminant, we are going to have 8 squared minus 4 times 2 then times 1. 8 squared is 64, then 4 times 2 times 1 gives 8, so we have 64 minus 8. 64 minus 8 gives 56. And this is positive, which means 56 is greater than 0. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. It means the quadratic function here has two different real roots. So we go to C, and uh, for C, we still have our A to be 9, our B is negative 6, and our C is 1. So substituting into the formula for the discriminant, we have a negative 6 squared minus 4 times 9, then times 1. This is 4AC. Negative 6 squared gives 36. So 4 times 9 times 1 gives 36. So we have 36 minus 36, which gives 0. Since the discriminant is 0, 
therefore the roots are real and equal which means it has only one real root so that's all for c and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this please like and share this video until we come your way again goodbye